Mark, thank you very much, and good evening to everybody. Joining us tonight from the Houston Rockets, guard Aaron Brooks. And with the Toronto Raptors, guard DeMar DeRozan. Grizzlies owner, Michael Heisley. As well as the president for the New Orleans Hornets, Hugh Weber. Representing the Indiana Pacers, forward Danny Granger. And Danny, tonight you wear your good luck charm in the form of a fashion statement. Why? Yep. Yeah, this is uh, my white James Bond jacket that I got on. And um, it's a, uh, I've never worn it before, it's the first time. But the, the kick is when you can see what's underneath. I got the John Wall jersey. I'm going to rip it off. <laughs> Incredible Hawks down. A so. little Superman breakaway. It, exactly. All right, good luck to you. <laughs> and from the Utah Jazz, general manager Kevin O'Connor and Clippers president Andy Roser. The Detroit Pistons are represented by Scott Perry, vice president of basketball operations. From the Philadelphia 76ers, guard Drew Holiday. And from the Washington Wizards, owner Irene Poland, who tonight is wearing her late husband Abe's 1978 Bullets championship ring as a good luck charm. She's also joined tonight in the studio by minority owner Ted Leonsis, who is in the process of becoming majority owner. We're also joined by Larry Riley, the Golden State Warriors general manager, as well as the NBA's Rookie of the Year, Sacramento's Tyreek Evans. And Tyreek, what areas would you like to see the Sacramento Kings improve on during the offseason? Um, no, just um, looking forward to you know, just trying to find some pieces to the puzzles to help us have a good season next year. All right, and congrats on Rookie of the Year. Thanks, appreciate it. From the Minnesota Timberwolves, President of Basketball Operations, David Kahn. And David, on the last day of the regular season, you predicted that the offseason would be very challenging, very intense. How much do you need the top pick to revitalize this franchise? I, I don't think we need the top pick per se. This is a huge summer for our franchise. We have three of the first 23 picks in the first round of this draft. We have a lot of cap room, a lot of opportunities, and most of all, we have a lot of good young players who are mostly young. We need them to get older, so hopefully they're in the gym as we're working right now here in Sakakas, working on their games. Right, we're looking forward to seeing what pick you get. And finally, with the New Jersey Nets, Mikhail Prokhorov, who last week became the majority owner of the New Jersey Nets. Under your leadership, how do you hope to redefine the Nets? Uh, we want to win and buy a title as fast as we can and to build uh, the first uh, global team in the NBA with uh, great uh, exposure, great international exposure with the fans from New Jersey uh, to Brooklyn to Moscow. All right. Thank you so much and best of luck to all of you. All right, thanks a lot, Heather. Mikhail Prokhorov's passion for basketball, well documented earlier, saying, I am addicted to sports. Well, one final look at the odds. The Nets with the best chance at the number one pick, 25%, and on down the line from there. Well, the time has come, and here is NBA Deputy Commissioner Adam Silver, who will reveal the final order for the 2010 NBA Draft. Adam? Thank you, Mark, and good luck, everyone. The 14th pick goes to the Houston Rockets. This is the third time in the last 10 years that the Rockets have missed the playoffs despite a winning record. The 13th pick will be made by the Toronto Raptors. The Raptors' big question this offseason surrounded the impending free agency of all-star Chris Bosh. The 12th pick belongs to the Memphis Grizzlies. The Grizzlies won 16 more games this season than last season and have three first-round picks. Picking number 11 will be... the New Orleans Hornets. The Hornets are one of four lottery teams currently looking for a head coach. The 10th pick in the draft will go to... the Indiana Pacers. The Pacers missed the playoffs for the fourth straight season, Danny. The time since drafting Reggie Miller back in 1987. The ninth pick will be made by the Utah Jazz. Utah's pick originally belonged to the Knicks and was acquired through the Suns in 2004. The eighth pick goes to the Los Angeles Clippers. Blake Griffin, the 2009 first pick, returns after missing all the last season with an knee injury. The seventh pick will be made by the Detroit Pistons. The Pistons missed the postseason for the first time since 2001. Things holding exactly to form so far. Pick number six belongs to the Golden State Warriors.
That means that Philadelphia and Washington have leapfrogged into the top three. Pick number five goes to the Sacramento Kings. The Kings hope to have back-to-back -back rookies of the year for the first time in the NBA since the early 70s. And the fourth pick in the 2010 NBA draft goes to the Minnesota Timberwolves. And then there were three. The Philadelphia 76ers, the Washington Wizards, and the New Jersey Nets with the highest odds of getting the number one pick still in the running. When we return, we'll find out who will win this year's lottery and we'll have an interview live with John Wall. And don't forget that following the lottery, it's game two of the Eastern Conference Finals. Paul Pierce's Boston Celtics taking on the Orlando Magic. There's John Wall. We'll speak with him immediately. First, we are down to just three in the draft lottery. Drew Holiday representing the Philadelphia 76ers. Rookie point guard Irene Poland representing the Washington Wizards. She's uh, wearing her late husband Abe's championship ring from 1978. And Mikhail Prokhorov, the new owner of the New Jersey Nets. Meanwhile, down the highway, down the Jersey Turnpike, they are making a little bit of noise. They have a lot of hope. They are hanging by a thread right now, hoping that they cash in on the number one pick. And joining us once again to announce the order of the top three picks, here is NBA Deputy Commissioner Adam Silver. Adam? Thanks again, Mark. The third pick in this year's draft will be made by the New Jersey Nets. The second pick goes to the Philadelphia 76ers. And that means the number one pick in the 2010 NBA draft will be made by the Washington Wizards. Well, that is the second time that the Washington Wizards have had the number one pick in the NBA draft. The last time they had the pick was in 2001 when they selected Kwame Brown. The Wizards, with a lot of time between now and June 24th, to decide who they will select as number one in the NBA draft. And right now, let's join Heather Cox standing by with Ted Leonsis. Heather? Mark, thanks so much, Ted. Congratulations. The obvious question, do you take John Wall with that first pick you just won? Oh, I have no idea. But I know Mr. Polin had his finger in this pie someplace. So I'd like to thank Mrs. Polin and Mr. Polin. It's a great thing for the franchise. And having had a first-round pick in the NHL and see how that turned out, I I think this is a great day for the franchise. And certainly a very emotional one as we ask Irene. That good luck ring certainly had luck tonight. Irene, I know it's been a very emotional year for you. What does this mean to get this first pick? It's fantastic, and I'm so glad I have this ring on because my husband, I think, is really here. His spirit is here. Certainly feels that way. Congratulations to you both. Mark? Yes, uh, Abe Pollen, uh, the late Abe Pollen was a real monument to the prosperity of the league, and uh, he will be missed. And the Washington Wizards with the number one pick in the draft coming up on June 24th. Here's a look now at the final order. Washington will select number one, Philadelphia number two. The New Jersey Nets, who had a 25% chance, end up at number three, Minnesota at number four. And joining us now from Beverly Hills, California, is John Wall. John, a lot of people talking about you being the consensus number one pick. You saw what evolved here a few moments ago. What are your thoughts on playing with the Washington Wizards? Uh, it's just a great experience, you know, that being his opportunity to get drafted by any team means a lot. You know, it's a good chance for me and my family and my team to work hard and get ready for the next level. John, how do you pose on making a significant impact as a rookie with the Wizards organization next year? No, I'm just going to come in and work hard, you know, try to make the team better yeah, all day, you know, try to listen to the organization, everybody, and just try to win games for the organization next year. All right, John, thanks a lot for joining us, and with any luck, they'll be doing that, uh, that John Wall dance thing, right? In Washington? Yes, all right. Good luck on June 24th.